Yo, welcome back to another CVL video. Right, the Euros are in full swing, and I've been down the boozer. I've caught pretty much every single game with the lads, which is. Hello? Hello, can I please speak to Callum Roberts? Who's this? This is Tess from Trace from the Tess NHS. NHS. Hi, yeah, we're just checking right. that your isolation's going well. Isolation? And you don't need any more further help. Yeah, it's going well, yeah. Good, lovely to hear. So just like uh -huh. you, know, you won't be watching the Euros Sound. in the pub. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Mm, you're right, I just got... Stop saying yeah and listen to me, you Sound. little shit house. Yeah! Still got COVID. Unfortunately, I've been isolating pretty much the whole time the Euros have been on, but who wants to go to the pub and have fun with their mates? Not me. But in today's video, I'm going to be going through types of people you find at the pub watching England play football. If you agree with anything I say in the video, please make sure you leave the video a like rating. I'm out of breath because of COVID. And if you are new around here, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Now, let's get on with the video. Number one, we've got the lad who always wants to bring his missus. Fuck it. There are some boys that insist in bringing the other half wherever they go. Almost like they're joint at the hip, like a little cyst. Your girlfriend is like a little cyst, whoever that may concern. Don't get me wrong, spending quality time with your girlfriend is amazing. I do it and I love it. No, I'm joking, I do. <laughs> no, I do, I do. But a healthy relationship is all about the balance. And bringing your girlfriend to the England-Scotland game isn't balanced mate. If you do bring your girlfriend to the footy, you get down the pub and it's just all the boys and you and your missus, I can assure you this is what everyone's thinking. Bro, I'm getting steaming for this game. Bro, don't get me started, I'm getting hammered, trust me. My guy. Anyway, you um, you heard from Steve-o? Fuck knows mate, you should be here soon. Oh boys, what are you saying? Steve-o, here he is. Yeah man, what are you saying? Hi boys. I thought I'd just bring Sarah, you don't mind, do you? This fucking stiff idiot's always got to bring his fucking girl. Oh, is it okay if Sarah comes in? Fucking ruined the fucking footy again. Look at her. Look at the state of her as well. Jesus fucking Christ. If that wasn't my boy, I'd tell him. I literally hope she fucking fucks off now. Pagan. Are you two okay? Yeah, no, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, cool. Fine. Fine. Next we've got the geezer with no idea about football. I am not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to football. I don't know how much City paid for De Bruyne and I don't know how long fucking Neymar's leg hair is. But when it comes to the game, I can hold a conversation. But there are some Donnies that watch the game and they have no idea what they're talking about but they insist in waffling. Mm. Keep a button on it. That Jordan Pitchfork is amazing. No, his name's Jordan Pickford. Yeah, no, I remember him. He used to play for Shrewsbury. That's Joe Hart. Oh, Hart. No, that's your body organ. Oh, Wild at Heart. No, that's a British TV series from 2006. Oh, Achy Brady Heart. No, that's a song by Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, so Cristiano Ronaldo. You can't just say Cristiano Ronaldo when it's anything to do with football and it makes sense. So you're saying Cristiano Ronaldo shit? I, I give up, yeah. Chris Cristiano Ronaldo's in goal for England. Yeah, that's what's going on. You need to listen. You need to use your brain a bit more. Watch the game, man. Fucking distracting me and that. Fucking idiot. Next, we've got the rugby lads. Oh, fucking what a bunch of pillows. When they find time on their day to stop wanking each other off, they occasionally come down the boozer and watch the footy. You'll spot them at the back of the pub all trying to spunk on a biscuit or whatever the fuck they get up to. When they stop doing that and they actually watch the football, fuck me, don't they have a lot to say? Look at these scrawny bunch of pansies. I'll be able to snap all of them. All oh, right, okay. He is going down so easy. What a pussy. You'd never get this in rugby. Yeah, but he's not a rugby player though, is he? So it's just silly comment. Mouthy bastard, chirps in the referee. No respect in football. You want to know where there's respect? Rugby. I mean, it's still not rugby, is it? It's football, so. Honestly, I do not know how you watch this. England are shit. Oi, Dave, you done with that biscuit, lad? Oh, fuck off. Go on, then. Go wank Dave off, you little fucking idiot. Next, we've got the guys that are very offensive to the players. Football is hands down the most love-hate sport in the world. The team's playing well, 2-0 up. Mate, you'd let the whole squad go through your misses. As soon as they start playing bad... Fucking hell. People turn on them so quick. I would happily never speak to any of my family again just to be in the same room as that man. If that man punched my newborn baby in the face, I wouldn't give a shit. I actually think I want to shag him. Oh, he's giving the ball away again, the useless piece of shit. Oh, he looks like he literally shags dogs. I have seen double-legged amputees play better football than that prick. Bro. What? 
I have. Next, we've got the betting man. And sticking a little bet on the footy. I don't see any harm in that. But getting your parents' house fucking repossessed because you gambled it off your tits. Ooh, bit of a sticky one. Stole. Some people come to the footy and try and make the whole thing about betting. What bet you on? You got any bets on? Who are you betting on? One sec, mate. I'm just having a conversation. What's that you say bets? I'll tell you one thing I can bet. I bet you lose all your pucker money. You silly sausage, aren't you? No bad. Oh, gonna be a good game. Any bets on, boys? Yeah, mate, I've got a fiver in my account, so I've put a couple quid on Kane to score and stuck the rest on a 2 1 win for England. Nothing major. Yeah, decent. Make the game a bit more interesting. What you got on, Barry? For me? Yeah, no, I stuck a couple of bets on. Yeah, got a few on, like. Mate, are you alright? What have you stuck on? Yeah, I got six grand on England to win 4 0, and I bet my left lung to that guy that Kane scores all of them. Fuck me, mate, you're fucking mental. Yep, I uh, fucked it. <laughs> Next, we've got probably the worst one of the lot the know it alls. Mate, fuck off. For a lot of people, I can appreciate football is a massive part of their life. But if you can tell me to the exact second how many minutes Wayne Rooney spent cheating on his missus, you need to get a job, my friend. Focus that energy elsewhere. Do you know what? Do something more than just know all these silly facts about football and also stop telling me them because I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I literally don't care. I'm watching the game. Do I care how many blades of grass make a football pitch? No. Why do you know that? Come on, Tottenham. Do you know the last time Tottenham won a trophy? Decades ago, won it? <laughs> Alright, lad, fucking hell, shut up. It was a 2 1 win against Chelsea, February 2008, League Cup final. Alright, oh, nice one. Do you know when Tottenham was founded? Uh, I don't know, 19. 5th of September, 1882. Oh, oh, wow. I'm just trying to watch the game, mate. The founder was Bobby Buckle. Do me a favour, mate, come in. I don't give a shit. I'm trying to watch the game, knobhead. Learn your footy, mate. Fucking dickhead. And finally, we got the Donnies that constantly back the Ops. Yeah? Support the other team. There's always that one quirky random guy that has to go against the grain. England are playing in the Euros. Final 16 against North Macedonia. England tops on. He's coming home. Paint the face. What's up, Donny walks in with a North Macedonian t-shirt on? What are you doing that for? And most of the time, the reasoning for them supporting the opposition it's mental. It's fucking mental. Come on, England. Come on, the boys. In it, yeah. Come on, the boys. Up the North Macedonians. Bro, North Macedonia. Yeah, man, obviously. Come on. Why? Come on, man. I thought you knew this. My nan's next door neighbours, cousins, mates, dogs, auntie. Yeah? Went on a lovely holiday there. Said it was absolutely amazing. And I've just followed the team ever since. What? Get the fuck out of the pub. That is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you found it relatable. Hashtag relatable gang trendy. Fuck it up. If you don't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit 2,000. We're on like 1.72. So we're nearly there. So with your help, we can make 2,000. And I would appreciate it if you could do that. If you enjoy. Man, I'm so out of breath because of this COVID bollocks. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like rating. And I'll see you all very soon for another video. Because, like I said, I'm isolated. I've got nothing else to do. Peace. Oh, I can't wait.